Hi guys, so today we've got BBC News. The British Bullshit Corporation, or Brainwashing Bullshit Corporation. Elon Musk, to show off working brain hacking device. Fucking arc. It's not the only thing I'm going to show you. <laughs> So we've been talking about microchips and been putting the mark of the beast in to our hand. Or they want to put the mark of the beast into our hand. Um, you've got that Netflix show that shows it's a kids kids TV show and it shows something called the Smart Mark. The smart mark and they get it into their hands. I'm going to do a video on it and show you. They have it in their art hand and it and it's to control the people. And it's a, t a kids TV show. A cartoon. But that's to do with predictive programming. Getting the human brain to communicate with machines is an ambitious goal. And this is the fucking BBC News guys. This is the BBC News. Elon Musk is due to demonstrate a working brain-to-machine interface as part of the ambitious plans to give people human superpower, superhuman powers. <laughs> you know, when you get these superhero movies, with all the, the you know, these people with these special powers, and you're thinking, hmm, is that part of predictive programming for the further future? That's what I thought when I saw this. I know it sounds unreal, but... Yeah. His brain hacking company, Neuralink, applied to start human trials last year, but Friday's demonstration will involve robot and neuro neurons firing in a real time, a series of tweets reveals. The interface could allow people with neurological conditions to control phones or communicate computers with their minds and i've seen this this is in the tv show years and years if you haven't seen that tv show years and years on bbc iplayer uh, I, I actually have a suggestion co watch it because of everything that's unfolding now from covid to this to all the technology that's coming out with uh, bill gates and ellen musk and all the crazy things happening around the world and what's about to come, or what could happen, is it all on that TV show. And it's set in the future. It's set from the year 2019 to the year 2032, I think. And a series of events happens down that timeline throughout the TV show. So it's, it's definitely worth watching that. And this is why I mentioned the other day, not many people liked it. I don't know why they thought it didn't make any sense, but I talked about that bicennial man with, the, with, with Robbie Williams in it. How he's a, a robot and throughout time he becomes a human being. So I've talked about that, but people just didn't said that don't make any sense. Why are you telling us that? Well, because they want humans and machines to to mix. They want biological human machines. It's where they want to take us in the future. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. And not you're not prob probably some people won't like that. But that's what they want. They want transhuman transhumanism transhumanism is where humans and machines mix or you become less human more um techno human or ai human artificial intelligent human so yeah the interface could allow people with neurological conditions to control phones and computers so that's people with new neurological conditions but who knows in what the further future holds. But the long-term ambition is to usher in an age of what Mr. Musk calls superhuman cognition. People need to merge with artificial intelligence, he says. It's part to avoid a scenario where AI becomes so powerful it destroys the human race. Fucking psychopath. I think <laughs> it's not Bill Gates then, is it? I think Bill Gates is it's about the vaccine. Uh, probably has some kind of... Uh, gene in it or these horrible chemicals in it that's going to destroy our gene pool 
but this um, other psychopath is the one that's that wants to put a chip inside us. Could work like that way. The device the company is developing consists of tiny probe containing more than 3,000 electrodes attached to flexible threads thinner than human hair, which can monitor the activity of 1,000 brave neurons. It is the last update more than a year ago. The company said it had carried out tests on monkey that had... It's all coming out now, guys. All this stuff that we have talked about, we've talked about in the truth community... It's coming out on mainstream media with where they want to take us. It's all coming out now. So yeah, BBC News. Um, where I was. Yeah, so it contracted, attached to flexible threads thinner than human hair, which can monitor activity of 1,000 brain neurons. In last update more than a year ago, the company said it had carried out tests on monkeys being controlled by computers with its brain. It has also a neurosurgical robot that is said to insert 192 electrodes into the brain every minute. So they're talking about wanting to make AI more advanced. That artificial intelligence will become so powerful it will destroy the human race. That's there. That's what he said. So he wants humans to become part of the AI system I'm guessing for crazy University of Pittsburgh assistant professor of physical medicine and rehabilitation Jennifer Collinger described what Mr Musk was trying to do as truly disruptive technology in a difficult space of medical technology you know, it's part to do with medical, because it's a medical procedure to put something in your fucking brain. Uh, Neuralink has significant resources and critically a team of scientists, engineers and clinicians working towards a common goal which gives them a great chance of su success, she said. But she added, even with the, these resources, medical device development take, it, take time and safety needs to a be a top priority so i suspect the process may take longer than they have stated as their goals may do fucking look at the look at him look at him on this i know it's a video but the thumbnail of the video a very dark mysterious man light shining on him and the light can't even shine on him is that dark as you think of evil I did photography, so I know it means photographs and colours. Harry Benjamin at the University of Pennsylvania's coding lab told BBC News the rest stumbling block for the technology could be the sheer complexity of the human brain. Uh, once they have the recordings, Neuralink will need to decode them and will someday hit the barrier that is our lack of basic understanding of how the brain works no matter how many neurons they record from. I wonder if they've had this technology for a long time, but they're just talking about it now and then they'll release it when the time's right. Decoding goals and movement plans is hard when you don't understand the neural code in which those things are communicated. Mr. Musk's, Musk's, Musk's companies, SpaceX and Tesla, have captured the public's imagination with his attempt to drive progress in space flights and electric vehicles, respectively. This SpaceX bullshit. Just make, it does make me wonder sometimes about space, but yeah load of crap space is a lie I'm not saying it's not a lie like you know it's there in the whatever it is but it's not how they say it uh, quickly play the video this is an advert I'm not going to watch it 
I've got this propaganda. Talking about futuristic electric cars as well and self driving cars, so it's about machinery. But it's all here on the BBC News. They are talking about it a brain hacking device. And he even said that he wants machines and humans to merge. Do you know what I mean? Saying that eventually AI will be so powerful that it could take the human race, so he wants humans to become part of the AI system. It's kind of sick, really, isn't it? How far they're going. Why do they need to take us this far when we've got all the technology that we have now? I, I generally don't think he needs to get any more advanced, but it's all to do with money and power. Control. Control as well. It's scary. It is scary. But it's there. Uh, can we stop it? Well, uh, I don't know. We could do, if there was enough people that started to wake up. But I wonder if uh, when this comes out, what people's reactions are going to be. When it comes more in our face as time goes on. And all the lockdowns and everything that's coming. Because that's coming. You know, will this mess with our spiritual side? Putting something in our brain. It's not going to affect our heart. But. Just stuff like this is, is sick to me, really. And they've predicted it in many movies. I talk about it, some people still don't listen. Right, thanks guys and I will look forward to making the next video.